Magnificent wooden wonder taxing on to the, uh, on the flight path at the moment. You've just seen two Merlins, well here are two more, strapped onto one airframe. Wooden airplane with metal nose cone and engine cowls of course, but just a work of art, a tribute to Walt Denham and his team with have specs and all. And this is the fourth mosquito they put together. There are only five of them in the world. And these guys have resurrected and brought back to help four of the five. So this is just something special. It's the only time we're gonna see it because it's gonna be taken to America, not the home of its birth. It's a pretty if we couldn't keep it here, but if you've got a spare 12 to 14 million in your back pocket, you'll be bumming our best mates. Well, with a final touch, helmet clamps tight against the sky. Down the flight. He became a prisoner of war to the Japanese and he was incarcerated. He was incarcerated in the infamous Burma Siam torture camp as a prisoner of war. He had a paddy field when he was shot down in Maktila. Both survived, he and his pilot. Ironically, or coincidentally, my father, who didn't know him at the time, photographed fighters, night fighters, had the highest amount of kills in any night fighter out of any pilot during the war. And the DFC also flew mosquitoes from Christchurch. George Jameson. The 50 XRAF mosquitoes were supplied to 75 Squadron here in New Zealand, and they were actually flown all the way from the UK to New Zealand by RNZAF and RAF pilots. Great bit of history there. Fighter bombers, so they carry bombs, rockets, torpedoes, and of course pathfinders. They went out ahead of the Lancaster bombers and set the flares off so they could see where they were going. And look at the rollout on that beautiful machine. Now you'll notice, folks, it's got the twin V12s on it, the Merlins. Five exhausts, why is that? They had one of the exhausts served as a double of two cylinders. And this was simply because the fact with this mark of, of mosquito that uh, it didn't blow 